I have one of those students. Okay. <laughs> and and you, I've spoken with you, mm -hmm. what a positive change in this child. Mm -hmm. And he is encouraged by RM because he has success there. Right. And, um, and that success has translated into my classroom. The, the children have on headphones. They've got this beautiful animated program. It's not only informative, but it's entertaining. Uh, there's no one to talk to. Mm. The person sitting closest to them is also actively engaged. They're looking at their screen. They've got on headphones. They're listening to what the program is telling them. They might. He goes to lab with me, with our class, and then he's been known to sneak down with our class again. He's when doubling I, up. He's doubling up. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. He's good. He likes wow. to skip spelling and go straight to RM again. <laughs> <laughs> I have an autistic student in uh, my second lab, and bless his heart, I don't hear a peep from him all day until he gets a perfect score. Aww. And <laughs> out loud, as loud as he can, perfect score, Mrs. Hardy. And then yeah, five minutes later, five in a row, Mrs. Hardy. And he just loves shouting out all of his rewards that he's getting. I say that with all of the children, even those that we tend to um, might be behavior issues, may, sometimes the teachers, maybe they feel the teachers are intimidating or maybe, you know, you know, we're the bad guy. But with RM, the computer, there's no bad guy there. So they're just, they're doing their work. Yeah. There's nothing there on that screen that's gonna intimidate them.